Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. This is Ashwath Mastro. Uh, Ashwath Mastro is nothing but an educator. Um, what we are going to see in this session? We are going to see a beautiful tricks to learn the chemistry easily. This video is especially for the 11th and 12th grader or senior grade students. Uh, why I have taken this video? Uh, first of all, if you are asking the 11th and 12th graders, they are thinking that chemistry is a difficult subject. I have analyzed from so many students what they are saying is they are thinking that chemistry is a difficult subject. As a chemistry teacher, according to my view, chemistry is not a difficult subject. Why you are feeling like that means because if you are not knowing the basics properly. For example, you take the language English. What is the basic for the English language? 26 alphabets. Without knowing the alphabets, you cannot learn the English language. Same, the chemistry is also a language. It is also having the basics. Without knowing the basics of the chemistry, you cannot study or you cannot approach the chemistry in your higher grade level. Okay, so what are all the basics? This is the reason I have taken this video for the senior grade students. So what are all the basics you should know before approaching the subject of chemistry okay so first thing so i have given you the list of basics you should know before approaching the chemistry so what are all the basics number one the first one is the important elements so immediately what will flash in your mind the periodic table so how many elements are there in the periodic table 118 elements the next question it will arise in your mind do we need to learn all the 118 elements at a stretch? Definitely not. Initially, no need to learn all the 118 elements. Some key elements are there that you should know. So without knowing those elements, you cannot approach the chemistry further. Okay, so that is the reason I have given you the important elements. The next one is the calculation of atomic mass. So already we have known that that is important elements are there to study the chemistry. So for those elements, you should know the atomic mass clearly. Without knowing the atomic mass, you cannot do the calculations properly and the, uh, properly in the chemistry. Fine. So next one is the electronic configuration. Electronic configuration, it is exactly like a address for your home or otherwise identity of in a other card. Okay, so if you are not knowing the electronic configuration properly, you cannot approach this other problems like uh, which group it belongs to, which period it belongs to, which block it belongs to, how does the arrangement of electrons in that. So everything you should know the electronic configuration, how to write the electronic configuration. Okay, the next topic is finding the group period and the block. Once if you are knowing the electronic configuration, how to write the electronic configuration properly, then it is easy to write the group period and a block at which belongs to. Fine. So if you are not knowing also, you don't worry. I will give you the simple trick how to find out the group period and a block from the electronic configuration of the elements. Fine. The next one, you, you should know how to calculate, uh, calculate the oxidation number for each and every element or otherwise the uh, oxidation state of the metal in the exactly in the compound so we have studied that oxidation for all so number for the free element is zero so no need to worry about the elements so oxidation number it will vary for the metals which is there in the compound okay so next one you should know the periodic trend periodic trend means so we have studied that ionization enthalpy and electron affinity electron negativity so why we are studying this periodic trend means by, by knowing this like periodic trend of ionization enthalpy, electron affinity, electron negativity, it is easy to study the characteristics of the elements in the periodic table. So without knowing this ionization enthalpy and electron affinity, electron negativity, how it is behaving in the periodic table, it is not easy to study the characteristics of the elements in the each and every block. Okay, the next one is use of logarithmic table so in 11th you will be having the ph calculation so ph calculation without knowing the logarithmic table you cannot even calculate the ph of the element the compounds which is there in the 
the subject okay the next one hybridization and the shapes so hybridization and the shapes means for the further approach of the structure of the compounds if you are studying means you should know what is the hybridization state of the compound so this will help you in the jw or neat exams or higher other other exams if you are going to write iit jw and all the next one you should know the strong and weak ligands this topic especially for the coordination compounds coordination chemistry fine so you should know this how the strong and the which compound which is uh, ligands are said to be strong and which ligands are said to be weak so why we are studying then only you can study the high spin and the low spin complexes then it is easy to identify the high spin and the low spin complexes the next one we are going to see is the organic chemistry basics so why we have taken this organic chemistry basics topic here means we know that organic chemistry is a huge part in your chemistry subject some students they will be feeling that organic chemistry is a easy subject that they can study and some students they will be feeling that it is very difficult subject that is very difficult to part in your chemistry subject they won't do the reactions properly why without knowing the basics they cannot do the organic chemistry so you should know what is the basics is like a, what is a nucleophile what is a dielectrophile how to identify the nucleophile how to identify the electrophile how the aromatic electrophilic substitution is happening what is the meaning of inductive effect what is the mesomeric effect so without knowing this inductive effect me mesomeric effect and all you cannot do the chemistry problems like aromatic substitution what is the substitution aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction where the product will be ortho product or a para product or otherwise uh, so, okay, nucleophilic substitution reactions in the aryl compounds for those type of problems and all you should know the basics properly without knowing the basics you cannot approach the organic chemistry okay so these are all the 10 different topics you should know before approaching the chemistry okay so for that if you are not knowing properly also i have given you the separate separate videos each and everything i have given you the simple trick to follow how to identify the uh, atomic mass of the substance how to write the electronic configuration how to write the group how to find out the group period and block of the element how to calculate the oxidation number and how to use the logarithmic table i have given you the simple simple tricks follow the tricks and just practice that in a two to three times in your notebook after that only you will experience in the basics of the chemistry okay so if you are following my videos properly you will be get experience and you will be expertise in the chemistry and then you will not feel the chemistry as a difficult subject you will feel one of the favorite subject as a chemistry fine if you are liking the video please learn a, a like by share the video uh, if you continue want continuously watch the, to watch my videos subscribe this channel and press the bell icon thank you